Alright guys, Cross here back with another video and we're picking off from the last episode of the rebuild where as we did see LeBron James went down for 39 games. Uh, we fell to 20 and a 21 record. So we're really just trying to see if we can get healthy enough or develop the team or just try to do something to ensure that we end up in the postseason either in the play-in or as a top six seed to be in the playoffs so we're just looking at the roster right now trying to see if we can change up the minutes and um maybe i would cut down on um some other guys minutes and try to bump up um austin reeves and um d'angelo russell's minutes um, Dinwiddie is, is actually not playing bad. 60% from the field, 48% from three in five minutes a game. Well, 10 minutes a game. Um, his stats aren't bad, but I don't know if he's really good enough to be like our third scoring option or Max Christie seems okay. I mean, but then we just, yeah, 22% from three, that's just not going to work. But yeah, I, I think then we off the bench should be the main guy. Skylar Mays, 26 years old, and his stats are just terrible. 50% from the field, but 33% from three is just not going to cut it. Um, Torian Prince, 45 and 25. So I guess we're just kind of looking here at just like what the guys have been doing so far throughout the season and... It's nothing crazy um, in terms of the scouting I'm not going to really scout most of these guys because I said I'm most likely is gonna draft Bronny um, I would love to scout probably one of the top guys but I mean the top weird I don't think we're gonna end up in a position to draft one of the top guys either way I don't I would like to still see what they're able to do like what their stats are gonna look like but we're not going to be in position um, to draft any of these guys. I'm, I'm trying to see if Bronny's going to be anywhere near this top ranking. Um, Rob Dillingham at 40. There's two Rob Dillinghams. Okay, so this draft class is just a little bit bugged. Or maybe just like duplicate players. It's not my draft class. It's just something I got. And... I guess there's two Rob Dillingham's. I don't know if there's two of any other player. So Ryan Jack here. Let's get Adam to watch this since he's already scouted. Um, Mark Taylor there, he's already scouted. And he's not that good. I wouldn't really get him, but I'm just going to add him just in case. If he falls to the second round or something. Is there any other player that we just like low-key scouted already? Yeah, I think there's one, Chris Arnold. Okay, not bad defensively, not really good offensively, but solid defensive player. And here's another one. Mm, can't really score at all, but because of the scouting, I think I'll just watch him as well. But yeah, I'm not seeing Bronny anywhere near here, which is not good. Oh, there goes that Zach Eddy guy, but yeah yeah i think we'll just like just keep the guys that are already scouted there but we're not really looking to move up in anything we're gonna draft brawny with whatever pick we have and in the second round we'll just pick whoever is there um i'm keeping my credits for the end of the season where i'll try to upgrade um, either the arena or the XP progression for our rookie, whoever we draft for Bronny, um, so he's able to develop much quicker than usual. He's still probably will be coming off the bench, but just to speed up his progression of his um, his development is what we really want there. And oh, there he is. He's at eight. Okay, I didn't see him there, but there he is at 8. Let me do it back at that. He's shooting 46% from 3. That's pretty good. Uh, 18, 6, and 7. That's actually really good. 
Yeah, he should be help. I, he should help out the team. The, the build that I gave him, I gave him like perimeter defend, perimeter defender and playmaker. And when I was looking at his stats, it wasn't bad at all. So I think he should really be good. Um, hopefully, when we draft him, he actually like there's, like I I don't know if there's gonna be like anything weird with like his rating or anything. I don't know. It's the first time I've ever created a player and put him in a draft class or done anything with a draft class or imported anything. Like this is my first time like, really importing anything. Um, cause on my other phone on the iPhone that I was playing, I was just, um, using the auto generated stuff in game. So who else could fall to the second round here that I could probably pick up at guard or forward. Cause we are losing a bunch of players this, uh, at the end of this season, I think there's a bunch of people like on two year deals or one year deals. And we only have two picks. We don't have any other picks for the upcoming years. Just the just the year the picks that we have um, for those years. Don't have any like other teams picks. You know, a few players on one of your deals. I think we need like a backup guard and probably a backup forward. Most importantly, I don't know if LeBron would, would retire after this season. So hopefully we're able to like get him and Bronny at least on the team and have them play at least a season or two or three if we can. Um, and hopefully like Bronny, when we draft Bronny, he's able to develop. I don't think Bronny would get drafted by another team um, due to the fact that there's so many players like with like five star or four and a half star ratings. Those guys go first. They're the first person to go most of the time. We tried to look for a trade or something for Skylar Mays there, but there was nothing. Um, hopefully we could maybe at the end of the season get him for like a draft pick or a, or just something. I don't know. Maybe just get him off the team for a player or something. I don't know. Maybe I should put him in the trade block. I think that would be good. Him and maybe Dinwiddie or Torian Prince or something. Yeah, I think that's a good idea there. But with the roster the way it is, it's not bad, but it's not great. There's no really like good bench players that we could really rely on. So the team is really focusing on Austin Reeves and D'Lo and yeah, Gabe Vincent, yeah, he's not like he's solid. But he's really not that good. He's a good stealer, good dribbler and good shooter in general. Can get to the rim, not a dunker, which kind of sucks. But you know, is what it is. So, yeah, I want to see if we can put one of these guys on the trade block, get some trade offers for them. The Skylar Mays, and who else will we do? We do Vincent. Yeah. So yeah, let's try to sim a few more games into the season. Hopefully we can get like um, who's injured for like a few games with the AD. Hopefully he's able to like come back healthier. Um, doesn't get like a serious injury. But we do get a trade offer. But can I still if I skip it? Can I come back to it still, or is it just gonna be gone and I can't get it once it's passed? Can I view it? Oh no. Yeah. So it goes away. So I have to view it immediately. Okay. Okay, that good, that's good to know. Okay, AD's recovered, thankfully. We're 24 and 24, so we're 500 through the season right here. 48 games in. And can I make a trade for Gabe Vincent and Skylar Mays? Yeah, no team wants them. No team wants them both. That's us. So I guess we we'll just wait until like the end of the season or if we get another trade offer. No one wants Vincent by himself. I think that's just the best thing to do. Let's wait until towards the end of the season or trade deadline or whatever. Um, I really should check out, yeah, what's going on around the league. There's no trade so far. A lot of injuries, obviously, teams winning. Oh, there's a trade. Jakob Perro. Anyone else? 
else? Any other trades? I guess we'll come back to that later on and see what the rest of the league does. I want to skip a few games here to see if we can scout this guy. Normally it's like, well, on 29 games, I know it takes like four or five games to fully scout a player. So I'm trying to, oh, there's a trade offer for Gabe Vincent, Evan Fournier. That's actually interesting. Two years left on his deal that was a little bit more expensive, but wouldn't he be a better shooter than Gabe Vincent and Scott? I, I could just get rid of Gabe Vincent for Evan Fournier. And he also can play forward, which is a more important position of need for next season. I think that's a solid trait. I might do that, actually. Uh, Evan didn't pop up. Fournier. Oh, is that? Yeah, I guess I'll just go to, De was it Detroit? I think it was Detroit. I'll just go to Detroit and see, like, what's the stats. California, there he is. Yeah, he's a solid shooter. Plays the forward. I think I'll just accept that. Yeah, he's shooting 40%, 14 minutes, 53% from the field, 14 points. That's not bad at all. I think I'll shoot. I think I'll accept this trade. I think that's the wise thing to do here. At least for next for what we're looking for next season. Yeah, 34%, 50 and on seven minutes. He's not producing. It makes sense to make this trade. Just based off what they're doing this season. Yeah, especially for what we need next season as well. We need a guard and we need a forward and he can play both. So I think this works. We'll accept this trade here, get Evan Fournier on the team. Maybe he can be like a backup player for when like how LeBron is injured. He can come in for LeBron, takes um, Cam Reddish's minutes. Um, and probably Torian Princes or whoever is minutes that's starting right now. I think it's Cam Reddish. Yeah, I think he could be the starter until Braun comes back. And optimize the minutes. And yeah, he's getting 40 minutes though. I want to get rid of some. Uh, Braun can come back in eight games. That's going to be interesting. And Jackson Hayes got injured. When did that happen? Um. Yeah, as I said, they need to do something about, like, I mean, I can understand automatically, like, taking the player out of the rotation, but at least, like, allow me to set, like, certain players and their minutes. Like, once one person get injured, like, they change the whole rotation, they change everyone's minutes and all that stuff. I, I wish I could just, like, okay, if you're going to take out one player, take out that one player and give them exactly their minutes and not... And not like like mess up the whole team's rotation and all their minutes and all that stuff. Uh, that's so annoying. Um, but let's skip up until around All Star break here. Someone, I think that's Jackson Hayes recovering from his injury. Austin Reeves as well, I think. Then Braun can now train from his injury, so he's going to be coming back. Okay, so oh, that's bad. Twenty-seven and thirty. Lost more than we won. That's not good. Uh, all these guys coming back. Just gonna delete these messages. It, it's gonna pop up so often, so like all the injury messages are gonna come up. So it makes no sense to keep it. And we didn't scout him at all. Like, no movement to his thing. So I don't know. Maybe the class. Like I just can't scout the class or something. So yeah, this is my first time dealing with like an imported class. I'm not really sure. Christy has an upgrade. We're gonna deal with that later on. Where is um oh Braun is okay, Braun is Yeah, so right. Okay, so Braun is fully healthy, he's back. Rui's there. Evan Fournier. I want him to get minutes. I want him to get minutes. Yeah, let's see here, California. Yeah, his stats are good. It makes sense to just, yeah, he needs to play. 
Christian Woods, not really a good rebound. I would Yeah. Torian Prince. Yeah, I'm, give, I'm gonna give him minutes over Torian. S sit Torian to the bench. Let him play over Torian. Sort his minutes out. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. So, I mean, that's still a lot of minutes for them coming back, but I need Braun to be playing for that long. Okay, so, Chrissy. What upgrade do you have? You have an upgrade to. Um, I guess so. I think that was a steal or dribbling or something like rebounding or whatever. Yeah, I think I was set it. Yeah, I think I was set it to auto let the game handle it. Okay, bronze. Look at this. Any trades? Anything? A lot of injuries. People coming back. See him. Okay, so there's a trade. Thomas Bryant. Okay. We all remember that one moment where he tried to call for the ball when LeBron was about to hit his 40k, or was it just no? It was just the pass, um, Kareem, which was crazy. <laughs> That's funny, man. By the way, as I said, I'm not a, I'm not like a Lakers fan or anything. I'm just rebuilding the Lakers because it's the Lakers and Bron and Bronny. The, the like the circumstances with the draft and like how bad they've been the past few years. Like not utilizing like the best years of or the last years of Bron and AD together. You know what I'm saying? So thought it would be a good team to rebuild. Okay, someone got it selected as a starter. Is it AD? Probably AD. Was that Braun? Okay. Oh my gosh. Uh, then he. Okay. As I said, this is like a low bug or whatever. It's mad annoying. Yes, yeah, AD. That players just get injured so easily. Like this should not be happening like this. Okay, they're, they're in the, the rotation. See, like, they now Evan Forney's out the rotation. Like, bro, I don't understand. They need to fix that. That's where they need to fix that. Jackson Hayes has an upgrade. Set it to auto. But let me... Yeah, so I was rebounding. Okay. Let me just get that out the way. And... So what do I do here? Do I just we're 30 and 39? What record? Where are we at? We're the 12 seed. You can still make the play in, but it's not looking good. Not looking good at all. Any lives in this game? Okay, we're all of two from three so far. Or four from three. 32, we're throwing back the old five, old of six, old of set. Oh my gosh, this is bad. Two of eleven from three, but we're still. The game is well now. They're pulling away. Game is close. Okay, there we go. Uh, take the lead, please. Take the lead, please. And they're just running away. What happened? I, now I know, like, I'm coming in. I don't think I'll be playing that well, as I said. But I need to do something. Like, I need to try and do something. I don't know. Well, the gameplay, the display, I don't know what's better. I'll probably just keep messing around with this and leave it maybe like this. Or if you want it closer, I'll probably just leave it like this for a little bit. And he missed, then that was a terrible miss, but they get the rebound and it was out of bounds. Okay, we're just gonna see if we can pass it out to Reeves here. Can we just score? That was bad. Oh yeah, that was bad. Oh my gosh. I'm just not I'm not used to their releases. They have wide release margins. Like I'm used to like with the players that I'm using, the the bar to score is so slim and it's right where I'm pressing every single time. Yeah. And LeBron scored thankfully. But we're still down eleven. We need threes. Like it's a minute thirty-eight left. We need to hit threes because they're gonna score. 
Just like just like that, bro. They're going to score. Emmanuel, wait, Emmanuel quickly's on the Kings. What what trade happened? There it goes. Um, yeah, I'm just not. I'm not good at timing these releases right now. I'm just not gonna be good at it for a little while until I get used to these characters and get used to this phone a bit. Can I step back? Try to do it quickly. Didn't and that misses. Yeah, this is a loss, another loss, but I mean, we were going to lose this game already. Right they were pulling away. Going to get a steal at least. LeBron, going to get a block. Was a block, thankfully. Can I can I hit one three, just one three? But I'm trying to get to the rim with LeBron. Oh, broke his ankles. And does he make that? Oh, yeah, there he goes. Okay, so maybe if I just timed it in the middle, I would be hitting shots more often hopefully I'll be able to do that in time please do not make that and then okay they stole the ball but he went out of bounds okay Austin Reeves is cold can we get to the rim no can he hit that no LeBron tried to get a dunk off but too late was out of the paint so this is going to be a loss. It's going to back out and just let the game sim. No, no, not back out that far. We'll just sim. Yeah, because the game's already over. We can't win this one. 24-11 uh, for Braun. No one got injured, thankfully. Oh, yeah, we're not getting, like, really any bench production. That's where we're faltering right now. We're at 30 and 40, so this is already bad. We most likely just... Well, 32 and 40. I mean, there's a little bit of hope to make the play in. Um, Evan Fournier over Torian Prince. Sort those minutes back out. Uh, I think I should, yeah. I'm going to lower these minutes and try to see if I can give Reeves and D'Lo 36 minutes a night. Set 16. Can I take two more from... Um, Christy or Fournier? Yeah, I'll just take it from Fournier. Yeah, eight, all right, everyone gets 18 minutes. I think this should be fine. Can we win this game? Does that help in any way? 14, 13, 2 of 3 from 3, 3 of 4, 4 of 5, 5 of 6. At least we're shooting well. They're also shooting well, though. Okay, can't see what they're pulling away. Oh my gosh. Okay, we caught back up. Played some defense, caught back up. Come on, guys. Pull away with this one, please. Seven point lead, and then, then they're just pulling away. What happened? Yo, what? Okay, what happened there? That's insane. We were winning. Yo, what happened? Bro, they didn't even have Luca. He's injured, bro. Kyrie and Jaden Hart. Oh my gosh. LeBron had 47. Yo. Nothing from the bench. Jeez. Christy at least gave us six points on three or four shooting, but come on, man. That was just terrible. The bench is just not providing anything for us. That's our biggest issue right now. We have nothing from the bench. I guess we'll swim to the end of the season and see if we can, like, make the plane or something. Like, we can hope. I mean, we were the 12th seed. I didn't check back again where we were. 35, before. yeah, we didn't make the playoffs. There's no way. That's so bad. 35 and 47. Boston best team in the league. And we were the 11 seed. Just missed the plane by one game. Wow. I mean, if we win, if we win just two games, we made the plane. But it is what it is. That is terrible. Austin Reeves. 
57, 58-44% from the field. Dilo 54 47 from three. 55 45 29 points. Like LeBron, like the starters did their job. The starters did their job, but I don't know, man. Really 32% from three. I mean, I don't know if you're a three point shooter. You are, but you shot 32? That's crazy. 32% from three, bro. 80. Played really well. Might win DPOI. Not sure. I mean, 1.9 box is pretty low for that, I guess. Jared Vando, you're not a scorer and a rebounder. You, you, what? Why is he a forward center? Shouldn't he be, like, a small forward or power forward? I don't know. Dinwiddie, 35% from three. Makes no sense. You have high ratings. I don't know why. You shoot 35% from three. Cam Reddish, 51, 36. I guess that's good for you. Jackson Hayes, 52 and two rebounds. You can't re- what? You're a center that can't, bro. 48, 20, Christy, 29? That's insane, yo. The bench, the bench, man. No rebound, yo, what is this? Okay, so this is something that we have to work on in the future. So with Brownie coming in, with we, we're drafting Brownie, guaranteed. We need a backup center or forward, like something like that to help out with like scoring or rebounding or something. Because these guys that Vando can't rebound, Hayes can't rebound, Jokic, Cusp player of the year, Bam, Kawhi, steals leader, assist leader, Tyrese makes sense, rebound champ, well, at least players that are like, score. Luka actually won scoring champs, so that makes sense. No one, yeah, because it's the first season, no one's going to win the most improved player. Six man of the year, Josh Giddy, wow. Uh, rookie of the year, really good beer. DPO Watt, two, yeah, 2.2 blocks, that was it. And Jokic wins MVP, so. I mean, I guess we just sim towards the end of the season, but I don't know, man. There's a lot of changes to be made, a lot of things off the bench. We got 554 gold. We'll start it out next game. Um, so yeah Well, not next game next video. So yeah, please like and subscribe for more content and I'll see y'all next time. Peace